Scientists say a new virus related to SARS may be responsible for a mysterious pneumonia outbreak in China. The experts worry it could become a pandemic. The coronavirus outbreak took a very frightening turn overnight. A week ago, an LAPD detective was fighting for his life with COVID-19. When he was first brought here, he was in extremely critical condition. Detective Chang was a detective in the LA Police Department who had developed coronavirus infection and had gone from moderately ill to very ill very quickly and required a ventilator support. He wasn't doing well on that ventilator and it was looking very bleak. Because of our really developed intensive care units, our ECMO support and our clinical trials, I'm really proud that we're someplace where people can come even in the most severe situations of the disease. And people ask, you know, why are cancer doctors pivoting their programs and us specifically, you know, and taking a leadership role in the coronavirus epidemic? And it's because this cancer immunology, which has been so prevalent, this revolution in cancer therapeutics that I've been part of from the ground floor, now we use many immune drugs to treat cancers across all kinds of cancer, we're seeing remarkable results. Because of that, we have a deep scientific knowledge base on how the immune system interacts with cancer. And it turns out those same lessons are very relevant to how the immune system is interacting with viruses. But our strategy has been to pick research cutting edge drugs that attack different areas of where a virus may escape from attack. So one is through antivirals, and we have a clinical trial now with the remdesivir, which is the Gilead drug that's showing promise, and so that attacks the virus. It's clear that the inflammation is another problem, and the virus uses inflammation to damage the body and continue, and we have a clinical trial with an IL-6 antagonist called cerilimab, is also attacking on a different front. Then we have plasma, so then we now have a program and a clinical trial with the Mayo Clinic that allows us to give recovered patients plasma with antibodies that would attack the virus. God bless St. John. But I will tell you, it was one of the most moving experiences of my life to, to witness this. And I think it just reflects that we are a community of people. We impact each other in ways we can't imagine. Through our collective work, we brought this wonderful person back from death to life, essentially, with this approach.